I'm Finmar, the percussion tutor um, in Glasgow Bury. Uh, we do one-to-one kit lessons and I lead the small but massive samba band. Well, I'm Niall Quinn, I'm from Mahara and I'm 22 and I've been in the samba band, I think from the start basically. I'm Stephen Brown, I'm 35 from Castle Dawson. I'm Calvin Keane, 22 from Sawyer and I'm in a samba band. I'm Mary McKee, I'm 17 and I'm from Drupperstown. Hi, I'm Connor, Do- Connor Donnelly. I'm 21 years old and I'm from Jupiterstown. My name is Callum. I'm 10, not 11, and I'm ginger. And <laughs> I'm Emma Jean, I'm 21, I'm from Marfelt, and I am also in the sound <laughs> My name is Ronan O'Doherty, I'm 19, and I'm from Dungeven. Every Thursday we have the Samba band workshops, and um, we've been going for a couple of years now. Um, the group's grown in numbers, and we've started getting out and doing parades and community events. It started off as just a rural key experiment. It's just practice, uh, get, getting people in, see what it's like to be in a band and all that stuff. But we didn't really expect it was going to be in, going to be an actual band where we get to go to gigs and all that stuff. Uh, to be in the sound band, it's good. Get to see your friends every week, get to bang some big drums, make a lot of noise. Yeah, about three years ago, I started to get drum lessons with Finbar and did them for about a year. And then Finbar introduced me to the Samba drumming group and uh, doing that ever since. I'm still going and I'm probably still go for a while. I'm really having lots of fun with it. Being in the Samba band's good, you should come up and dance around and have fun with your friends. Well, I played in metal bands for years. But a couple of bands broke up and I had reasons to stop me from drumming. So it was just good to try something different. And some band was a good opportunity to do it. And it was good crack now. I would occasionally meet Paddy in the town. He mentioned the samba band to me. And then I started there a couple of months ago and have been going ever since. Well, I already knew about the samba band for about a year before I joined it. And then I was talking to Jude Mullen and he was all, come here to me now, do you want to go to the Isle Samba? And I was like, aye, sure, that'd be grand. And then I just started coming because it was good crack. I joined the Samba band just for the crack and meeting up with friends and meeting new people. It's good stress relief as well. <laughs> Finbar, the Samba tutor, is very nice. He's quite funny. And he's, he is a very good at what he does. He does good Samba and good drumming and he really does know what he's doing. Finbar is one of a kind. <laughs> he's in a league of his own. <laughs> Um, so it's a great opportunity to get people out and performing. Either, like there's a lot of nice people in Samba, and, when, and then I remember I did like my first ever um, built gig in the Ruskin Festival about a year ago or something, and I didn't feel like as scared. I just always felt happy while doing it. We were up in Derry playing a few times, and we got everybody up and dancing, and got everyone having a good time. So that felt pretty good. Uh, well, the performances, you know, they're very nerve-wracking, but once you start playing, you know, you just sort of forget about the crowd. And it's almost the same as just going to the practices every week. I, that's the best, that is the best thing about the Samba Band, it's just getting out and just being a part, like, when we looked at the Halloween, you're, you're a part of it, bringing the whole hype to it. We're just this big ball of energy running around and get people dancing and running around, and it's just brilliant to be a part of the whole thing. Performance absolutely fantastic crack. Just get to go out and just be like, yeah, that's right. I play samba. What of it, man? What of it?